everybody, welcome to Major Keys. I'm here with Allison Fillmore. She's the executive director of the Tour Championship, and I'm so excited to chat with you. You've shattered ceilings and had a great career in many arenas of sport. Um, but I first want to know, where did sports start for you? Sports started for me when I was a young girl. I played softball, I played basketball, but honestly, the sport that really stuck with me, I know this is a little different, it's racquetball. I played racquetball growing up as a kid, um, tried out for the U.S. national team, made it my last year, trained at the U.S. Olympic Training Center. It was a great opportunity for me. So uh, once I got finished with that, I was really interested in the business of sport, and that's how I started this journey. So in college, you studied sports I management. I did. I did. I so went. walk us through your journey after college. Um, you've worked at uh, the Sacramento Kings, you worked for NASCAR, you yep. um, worked for the Atlanta Falcons. Kind of walk us through that journey and how you got to where sure. you are at the Tour Championship. Sure. Well, it actually started a little bit before. Um, I was really focused on doing great internships because getting good internships really helps solidify your career. A lot of kids getting out of school, they don't have experience, so they have to do internships. So I did internships a little bit earlier in my in my college career, which I think most kids do that now. And um, I worked three jobs over winter break. Uh, you know, I worked for IMG. I interned for IMG when I was in Cleveland and ended up working a couple other jobs uh, just, just to give myself the experience. And from there, I started with a company called Collegiate Directories. And as most kids coming out of college, I was super excited and, you know, thought I was going to make billions of dollars <laughs> as soon as I graduated. And I didn't. So I thought to myself, I could be making more money. So I quit my job and I took a job out of sports. And guess what? I got fired in four months. I was not passionate about my job. I wasn't happy. I wasn't doing something I loved. So I got back into sports and my career soared from there. So from there, I started with the Cleveland Lumberjacks, which is a minor league hockey team, not in existence anymore today. <laughs> Um, the league folded. I ended up going out to Sacramento, worked for the Sacramento Kings, came back to Atlanta and worked for the Atlanta Falcons. After the Falcons, I went to the Atlanta Dream. And from the Dream, I started in NASCAR, worked for Atlanta Motor Speedway. And about two years ago, I got a call from the PGA Tour. So I haven't looked back since. Wow, a lot of accomplishments in there. And you're likely the only woman in the room. What is that <laughs> typically like in a male-dominated industry? Actually, it's fun for me. I enjoy it. I get along with men very well. It's, it's something that's very easy. I know sports. I can speak the speak. I can talk the talk. So it's not something that's really hard for me. People point it out all the time, and I just embrace it because it's different. And, you know, it's, it's not something that really bothers me at all. Well, how did you stand out amongst your peers? Again, so you're in a room full of men, typically. How did you, as a woman, just rise to the top? I work hard. I, work ethic is something that's very important to me. Um, it's been instilled in me since I was a little girl. My mother, my father passed away when I was a senior in high school. So my mom worked multiple jobs to make sure that we were taken care of. Um, once, once I left for school, you know, I, I worked all through college and it's just my work ethic. I'm going to be there earlier than everybody else. I'm going to stay later than everybody else. I'm going to make more phone calls. I'm going to get more, more sales. It's just, because my, my career started in sales, so that's kind of what my focus was. And it was always I, I'm very competitive. So if I saw someone doing a little bit better than me, it, it pushed me to do even more. Which I imagine is necessary, again, Absolutely. Um, to being in your position. Uh, you also have two daughters um, that play sport. Are there any benefits that you've seen already with them participating in sport? Absolutely. They're much more confident. Uh, confidence is something that's very important. My older child is is not as much of an athlete as my younger child. So to see her excel in sports, she works very hard to do what she does. She's, she does swimming, she does softball, um, making sure they're picking up golf, but I'm not, I'm not forcing them to do any of this. I want them to enjoy themselves. I want them to say, mommy, I want to do this. So um, they also love art and drawing and, and acting and all that good stuff. So, um, and then they also like to play on their tablets a lot. So <laughs> the world, we're trying to stop that. A yes, I think that's pretty <laughs> common. So, Absolutely. so that's been beneficial to them in that way. How were sports beneficial to you? And, you know, how can you see that in your progression in your career? Absolutely. Uh, teamwork. 
Teamwork is something that's very important. There's no I in team. Um, and you need to work in, a, in an environment with others. So that, that helped me there. The confidence as well, motivation. I mean, sports does so much for, for girls, for kids, for adults, for everybody, because it just shows you, it shows you work ethic. It shows you motivation. It, it, you know, you, you have the opportunity to get out there and, you know, put everything aside and just focus on the goal ahead and that's winning. So, and you do it as a team. So, you know, lifting up your team members, you know, making sure that they're okay if they, if they mess up, unfortunately, um, you know, it's sports something that it's, it's so important for kids uh, to start at a young age because it teaches them so many values. Absolutely. Are there any ways that within your industry that you're trying to increase the presence of women, maybe in the front office, but also um, on the course? Absolutely. Um, Jay Monahan, who is our commissioner, his big push is diversity and inclusion. So we are really focused on bringing a diverse group into the PGA Tour. So you're going to see more. In fact, my staff has, we're, we're half female, half male. So we do have a good balance there. Uh, I try to mentor as much as I possibly can, um, attend events, women, you know, women leadership events and such. So whenever I have the opportunity to, you know, be able to sit down with somebody and help guide them through their career, I absolutely do so. And, and also within the PGA Tour, they just named the president of the web.com tour is a lovely lady by the name of Alex Baldwin, a great friend of mine, first female president of any major tour ever. So huge step for women in sports right there. Huge. In the last year, your favorite women in sports moment, it could be front office, it could be on the field, favorite sports moment. <sighs> Okay, so favorite sports moment or favorite women in sports women moment? Women in sports moment, okay. sorry. Because my, fa my favorite was Tiger on 18. Yes. I mean. <laughs> um, favorite women in sports moments. Uh, honestly, I would have to say it was being honored at the Atlanta Dream Game as an inspiring woman. It, it all kind of was very cyclical for me. You know, that's kind of where I started. And then being, being asked to come back for that was really it made me so happy because you know I was such a part of, of helping start that team and, and them realizing that and honoring me on on the court was I was so flabbergasted so humbled it was it was awesome yeah that was great to see that was actually where we met yes um, if you could give one one tip or we call it major keys here one major key to young women in sports who you know aspire to be where you are what would you what would you tell them I would say listen, listen and make sure to, you know, soak it all in. A lot of times we are focused on what we're going to ask the next, next question. You know, when someone's talking, you're thinking to yourself, okay, well, I want to ask this, this, and this, but you're not really sitting down and listening to what they're saying. Listening is something that's so important. And while we all say we have these great listening skills, a lot of times it goes in one ear and out the other. So I would say listening is something that's really important. You'll see me when I'm, when I'm in something new, I sit back and I take it all in. I don't really talk a lot. I just take a lot of notes and really think about what's going on around me. So I would say listening is probably one of the, the biggest things I would say. All right, well, I appreciate that. And I appreciate your time here today Absolutely. again. Such a successful career, and we just Thank look you. for many more years of um, success and shattering ceilings. Awesome. Thank you for having me a part of the show. Thank you.